Hello, my name is Gary. I'm the subject leader at Barton Peveril for music and music technology. I've recorded this video to give you a little more insight into the A-level music technology course at Barton. Our entrance requirements for this course are designed to be quite flexible. If you've taken GCSE music, you'll need to have achieved at least a grade four. Alternatively, if you haven't, but you've passed your grade five practical on your instrument or grade five theory, this is also fine. We do also completely understand that not all music technology students will have gone down the conventional route of learning to play a musical instrument first. So we do also offer you the opportunity to submit a portfolio of your own technology based composition work as an alternative pathway. The course itself combines two exams worth 60% and two pieces of coursework worth 40%. Much of the learning, however, takes place through practical experience and a significant part of one of the exams is practical and is done using Logic Pro software. The first of the two coursework pieces is multi-track recording. This takes place in one of our three recording studios. The first year is spent learning how the equipment works and practicing working with typical recording setups, whilst the coursework itself is done early in the second year. The second of the two coursework pieces is composing. Throughout the first year, you'll be guided through the range of creative tools which Logic Pro offers for composers and directed towards a wide range of exciting techniques for inclusion in your own work. The first of the two exams essentially explores the history of sound recording from roughly 1945 to the present. So here we look at the ways in which artists made use of the technology they had at their disposal from the early mono blues recordings of the late 1940s, right up to the infinitely more sophisticated technology of the present. The second exam combines your understanding of the ways in which the technology you use works with your ability to use this technology in an exam environment. So you may be asked in the exam to correct errors in an audio track, to generate a particular type of synthesized sound, for example. You'll also be required to create a mix of a pre-recorded song, which will usually consist of five or six audio stem tracks. I'm sure those of you who've already visited us at Barton Peveril will have seen for yourselves that we're very lucky to have such excellent resources. This combined with the excellent level of support you'll be given whilst studying music technology at Barton Peveril puts you in a great position to reach your potential in this subject. I hope that gives you a clear picture. If there's anything else you want to know, don't hesitate to get in touch. My email is gdw at barton.ac.uk. Look forward to seeing you in September. Thanks for listening.